Hi, my name is Mr. Exum. I'm a biology teacher and an ed tech trainer. Now, as an educator using Teams, I get frustrated by my students when they tell me that they can't find my resources. But that's a bit unfair as different teachers upload files and resources in different ways. Some put them in channels, others in OneNote, some on SharePoint, sometimes all three. Perhaps that's why the new classwork update to Teams is really exciting. You can pull together a range of different resources into neatly organized modules for the students to access. Sounds interesting? Let's take a look. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make these really simple modules are uh, in the new classwork area of Microsoft Teams. And in these modules, you'll see you can uh, collate resources really nicely for the students to have access to. Uh, it might be OneNote pages, assignments, links through to the channels or websites. It's really quick and simple to do, and it's a really nice way for students to be able to access the resources quickly and easily. Okay, so here I am in Teams, and if you look on the menu down the left-hand side in this class team, you'll see one called Classwork. And this is what it looks like when you first come to it. As it says, organize your assignments and resources with Classwork. So we're going to do Add Module at the bottom to get started, and it's going to ask us for the title of the module and a description. Now in the description, I can add quite a lot of detail here, and I've also got some nice formatting options, bullet points, numbering, and I can add a link. So I can give quite a lot of background. Now you notice it says save as draft. Okay, so when I click save, it doesn't actually uh, show the students until I click the publish button, which is quite nice. So I can be working on quite a lot of modules, getting all the content right, and when I'm happy to launch that particular module to the students, I just click publish. So I've got add resources or drop files here. It tells you what to do. I mean, literally, you can just drag and drop uh, files on, which is quite nice. So here's a file here. I'm just going to drag this on to show you how that works. So with the assignments, it's quite good. You can uh, add an assignment that's already uh, in this class and just link to that assignment that you've already set. Um, or I can create a new assignment right here. Okay, so here I'm going to attach some uh, revision questions for them to do. Okay, and I'm going to set that for them for next week. Okay, so I've scheduled an assignment in advance and when I publish the uh, module, that will all be visible to the students. With links, obviously I could just uh, link to a, a key YouTube video. Okay, okay, maybe I want to add a link to uh, the channel that's already in this team here, just to, again, take them to that area. Maybe we've got a channel where there's some discussion going on uh, that's relevant to this topic. Maybe I want them to uh, do some work in that channel. So I could link to that directly, and again, it will just give them access straight to that. So as you can see, you can build up these resources in, the, in terms of this module in the classwork, and what's nice is I can drag those around very easily, and I can remove them if I need to by clicking on the three dots, and the three dots at the top will allow me to edit the module or delete the module. So when I'm adding resources, another option, if I go to File, is to add a fresh new file, not one that I've already made. And I actually can create a file straight away uh, to add straight in here. Any of these types of files, I can just create and add straight into the module. Uh, what I'm actually going to do, though, is do a little video recording. This is a nice little option as well. So if I click Next, it's going to launch my uh, video recorder straight away. And then I can just record a quick uh, video, maybe like the introduction to the module. Hi class, it's Mr. Exum. Uh, so in this module, you're going to be learning all about the amazing process of photosynthesis. I can edit it if I need to. If I need to trim off any bits, that's fine. I can do that. Give it a name. And there we go. So I'm going to pop, drag that up to the top. And just see what, show you what happens when it gets clicked on. There's my video. Okay, so let's say I have now finished with this module. I want to publish it to students. So I'm going to click publish here. 
And once the module's been published, as it says here, it can't be hidden, but it can be edited or deleted. Okay, so now that module has been published. Okay, so now I've got two modules, as you can see. To open up the module, I just click on the little arrow next to the title to see the resources in that module. Both of these have been published to the students. What's quite nice is I've got a pin option. So when you've got lots of modules, maybe you want to pin the most relevant one or the recent, the, the current module. Or maybe when it comes to revision time, you want to create a module that just has all the revision resources in it. You want to pin that one to the top. That will then pin it up there for the students. Okay, let's just hop over to the student view to see what these modules look like for them. Okay, so here we are signed in as a student, Susan, and you can see the two modules here, and that's how they appear to the student. Um, if they click on any resource, it will open it up for them to have a look at. Okay, so one final feature to make you aware of is that in assignments, there is now uh, a select a module drop down box on the right hand side here. So I can put this assignment into one of those classwork modules. So if we're working through a module, uh, but I haven't you know, put the assignments in yet with the resources, as I set assignments, I can pop them into the relevant module on here, which is a really nice feature. So hopefully that's made you want to have a go at creating some modules in your teams. Good news is that very shortly Microsoft are releasing an update that will allow you to reuse modules so you won't have to create them from scratch next year when you teach the same course. Now if you want to learn more about Teams, OneNote or SharePoint, subscribe to the Cloud Design Box channel and visit the website to find out more about the products and services that Cloud Design Box offer for both education and business users.